It's early morning and I'm filming birds in a park near me. And the question I'm trying to ask today is, are there any nuthatches left in this patch of forest? Because the theory was that the introduced uh, invasive parakeets are um, taking over the nest sites and then the nuthatches who start nesting later in the season will be pushed out. I've been birding in this area for more than five years here and I've noticed every year pairs of uh, nuthatches not far from the trees where the parakeets uh, were nesting. Let's see what the situation is this year. Yesterday there was a nuthatch singing in that area. I'm going to check that area first. Chief Chaff and a parakeet. Probably a nest. All right, so there's a hole there, up there in the tree. I saw parakeets here yesterday. They should be here. And actually there's another hole lower down in the tree. So we may have two nests or one of them could be occupied, but they should be here. So I'm going to stay there at a distance and wait for them to move. They're actually mating. They're mating. The male and the female are mating outside the nest, so it means they're still laying eggs. Once she starts laying eggs, the female sits on them day and night. The male helps by guarding the nest and feeding the female. A few times a day, the female comes out of the nest. She uses these breaks to eat, stretch her wings and mate with the male. So her eggs will be healthy and fertilized. Then she returns to the nest to be with the eggs. The parakeet's nest is in a hollow high up the tree. Here's the female at the entrance. There's a nuthatch nesting right there in the lower hole just below the parakeet nest. There's a female in the parakeet nest. The male is waiting beside the nest and down here a nuthatch appeared, quickly entered and flew away. I'm going to wait to see what happens. So here's the entrance to the nuthatch hollow and if you look up the tree trunk you can see the entrance to the parakeet's nest. That small bird climbing up the tree trunk is a nuthatch. Let's see if it enters the hollow. It does! and it's bringing in nest material, so it's a female. She will carry chips of wood and bark and make a thick layer at the bottom of the hollow. That will be the base of the nest, on which she will lay her eggs. Let's stop for a moment and take a look at what she's carrying. I think it's Scots pine bark from one of the large pines in the area. So the nest is still under construction. The female may plaster the entrance hole with clay to make it smaller. All this work is done by the female. She will also incubate the eggs. In both the nuthatch and parakeet families, females spend a lot of energy producing eggs and incubating them. The males provide food during incubation, but also in the egg making period. Feeding the female is part of the courtship ritual. Singing and defending a territory is also part of the male's duty. Alright, so I don't know very well the situation with the parakeets, but we have one couple nesting in this tree, we have a few others uh, hanging around, and one couple of nuthatches building a nest in this very tree where the parakeets are. So we have two nests, parakeet and nuthatch, in the same tree. Wonderful! I, I will stay more, but I, time is up. Uh, we have only one hour, as you know, so I'll go home and maybe come back tomorrow. It's going to be interesting in June, when both couples will have chicks in the nest. I will keep an eye on these birds to see how they manage raising the chicks. Everyone stay safe until then.